Here we have a function that accepts a list and return another list with three random numbers, with random items. Uh, as you can see, we are repeating items here. So let's make another function that does the same thing, but without repeating. So we do function get random elements that accepts a list. And here we're going to uh, return a copy of that list sorted. So we're going to go sort. And the function inside the sort is going to return a math random function. So sort needs to return true or false. So that's why we're using math random to return either true or false. So math.random. if we call math.random and then we ask if it's bigger than 0 0.5, 50% chances, then we do one or minus one. Then that return, we need to slice it because we need, we want only three items. So then we can uh, chain this slice function and we go from zero to three. And that way, if we change here to get random elements, you see that in any list we have anything like um, repeated. We can also add more and you see that there is no repetition. One extra thing that we can do is to add the number of items that we want to uh, to get. So we can default this to three and we can replace this to items. And there you go. Now we have three, but maybe we have we want five here and so on.